Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is on dry friction. And we have a question here. The question says the automobile has a mass of 2000 kg and a center of mass at G. Determine the towing force F required to move the car if the back brakes are locked and the front wheels are free to roll. Take the coefficient of static friction to be 0 0.3. Now before we get into solving the question, we have to identify our key components and key conditions. Or otherwise, let's say our quantities we need to solve for. So it says the automobile has a mass of 2000 kg. So the mass here is going to help us find our weight by multiplying it with gravity. That is 9.81 meters per second square. And this mass has a center, a G. Determine the towing force F required to remove the car if the back brakes are locked. So we are supposed to take note of this condition if the back brakes are locked and the front wheels are free to roll. So this is another condition. The front wheels are free to roll. And we are to take the coefficient of static friction, which is mu s to be 0 0.3. Okay. So before we can be able to solve this question, we have to get our free body diagram down. So this is our free body diagram. So we have our weight, which is 2,000 times 9.8 meters per second square. This becomes our weight, which acts downwards. And we have our normal reaction forces acting at each tire. That is Na and Nb. This is our towing force, which we are supposed to look for, and it is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees at a distance 0 0.3 from the ground. We also have our frictions at each tire, which is acting in opposite direction to the towing force. So we have FB and FA, which is supposed to be there. But looking at the conditions the question gave, said if the back brakes are locked and the front wheels are free to roll. And the question also gave us the coefficient of static friction to be 0 0.3. So it means that the back tire is going to experience static friction and the front tire is going to experience kinetic friction. The question gave us as coefficient of static friction to be 0 0.3. So therefore, FB is going to take a part in our solution and not FA. So with the solution, we must first write down our three equations of equilibrium. That is, the sum of the forces in the x component should be equal to zero. The sum of forces in the y component should be equal to zero. And our moment, of course, which can be taken at tire A or tire B 
should also be equal to zero. But first, we are supposed to resolve our towing force F into its X and Y components. So with the F X we have negative F plus P thirty, sorry. With F Y we have F sine thirty degrees. Yeah. So with our weight we have two thousand kg times nine point eight one meters per second squared and which gives us a value of nineteen thousand six hundred and twenty newtons. Yeah. So we have our summation fx being equal to zero. So now we identify the forces in the x component. So we could see we have fx here, which is negative f cos 30 degrees, and fb here, which is also in the x component, acting in the positive x direction. Yeah. So here we have negative f cos 30 degrees plus fb should be equal to zero. Now we move to the sum of forces in the y direction. We have Na, we have Mb, we have the weight, we have our towing force, which in the y component to be F sine 30. But first, we have to know that Fb is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal reaction force acting at tire B. So Fb becomes 0 0.3 times Nb. So there we have it, negative F plus 30 plus 0 0.3 mb should be equal to zero so i guess we are good with the summing of forces in the y component so we go to the y which i earlier talked about that we have na we have nb we have our weight we have our towing force here in the y component to be f sine 30 degrees so we have Na plus Nb minus 19,620 newtons plus F sine 30 degrees, 30 degrees being equal to zero. Yeah. So with our simple algebra, we are able to manipulate the values. So we have, we therefore have Na plus Nb plus F sine 30 degrees to be equal to 19,620 newtons. I guess we all know why our weight here was negative because it was acting downwards, so in the negative y direction. I guess we're cool with that, right? So, we'll be taking our moment at A, which is at tire A. So, we must first know our forces, which won't take part in the moment. And it's at NA. Then we are taking moment at tire A. So, obviously, NA is not going to be a part of the moment. So we have negative F sine 30 degrees multiplying 0 0.75 meters. So negative F sine 30 degrees. We know F sine 30 degrees is the Y component of the towing force F, 
which act in this direction and the distance between where we are taking the moment and the y component of the towing force is 0 0.5 and it acts in the it acts in the clockwise direction we also have f cos 30 degrees times 0 0.3 meters which is the x component of the towing force and is acting in the anti clockwise direction to that uh, at the moment taken at a sorry to the moment taken at a and the distance between them is 0 0.3 meters we also have a weight which is acting downwards which acts in the clockwise direction and a distance of one meter apart from where we are taking the moment. Yeah, so we have it here. We have NB, that is our normal reaction force at B. To be acting in the anti-clockwise direction from where we are taking the moment and the distance between the moment and nb is 2.5 meters and all should be equal to zero When we simplify, we're going to get negative F into bracket 0 0.115195 meters plus NB times 2.5 meters should be equal to 19,620 newtons. So, by using our calculator, by using our calculator, we have to press mode, go to mode on your calculator, you press 5, you choose 2, the 2 is for solving simultaneous equations and there are 3 equations we have here, that we have negative f cos 30 plus 0 0.3 nb should be equal to 0. We have Na plus Nb plus F sine 30 degrees should be equal to 19,620 newtons. And our last equation, of course, negative F into bracket 0 0.11519 meters plus Nb times 2.5 meters should be equal to 19,620 newtons. We have Na to be 10,263.33 newtons. We have Nb to be 7,975.29 newtons. We have our total force to be 2,000. 762.72 newtons. Therefore, the towing force F required to move the car if the back brakes are locked and the front wheels are free to roll is 2.76 kilo newtons. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It was fun having you watch my youtube video thank you thank, thank you. you thank you bye, bye.